Question 1. What does a black sign with a white arrow curving to the left indicate? That the road curves to the left ahead. B. Cars in this lane must turn left. C. Left turns are prohibited. D. Parking is to the left. The answer is B. Cars in this lane must turn left. Question 2. What does a flashing green light signify? This is a pedestrian-controlled traffic light. B. You can continue through the intersection as long as it's clear. C. This light simply warns you that you are entering an intersection. D. And B. The answer is D. Then B. Question 3. What is the meaning of a flashing red light at an intersection? Stop and wait for the light to turn green. B. Stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. C. Slow down to check for oncoming traffic and proceed when it is safe. D. The flashing red light simply indicates an uncontrolled intersection. The answer is B. Stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. Question 4. What does a large diamond symbol painted on the road in a specific lane indicate? A. Bus lane only. B. You cannot drive in this lane. C. Reserved for buses and D. High occupancy vehicles, HOVs. The answer is C. Reserved for buses and D. High occupancy vehicles, HOVs. Question 5. What does a steady green arrow pointing left or right on a traffic light indicate? You may turn in the direction of the arrow if the intersection is clear. You must check for oncoming traffic before turning in the direction of the arrow. C. Stop and proceed in the direction of the arrow with caution. D. Drive straight through the intersection. The answer is A. You may turn in the direction of the arrow if the intersection is clear. Question 6. What does a steady red X symbol above a lane of traffic indicate? Proceed with caution. B. Begin moving out of this lane and into a lane with a steady green arrow. C. You cannot drive in this lane. D. Bus lane only. The answer is C. You cannot drive in this lane.
Question 7. What should you do when a school bus is stopped at the side of the road with its lights flashing? Car can pass in the oncoming lane when it is clear. B. Car can continue driving as usual. C. Car must stop until the bus moves on. D. All the above. The answer is C. Car must stop until the bus moves on. Question 8. What does it mean when a traffic control signal displaying the word, stop, is held out by a person at a school crosswalk? Stop if there are any pedestrians crossing. B. Stop before entering the crosswalk and do not proceed until the signal is no. C. Ignore the signal as it is not legal anyhow. D. Slow down and proceed through the crosswalk with caution. The answer is B. Stop before entering the crosswalk and do not proceed until the signal is no. Question 9. What does a two-way left turn lane located in the center of the road signify? You can turn left or right from this lane. B. You can pass other cars in this lane. C. Cars traveling in both directions can turn left from this lane. D. You can park in this lane. The answer is C. Cars traveling in both directions can turn left from this lane. Question 10. In what situations is a U-turn not permitted? A. On a curve. B. Near or at the crest of a hill. C. Where a sign prohibits a U-turn. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question 11. How far away from railroad tracks should you stop at a minimum? 6 meters from the nearest rail. B. 5 meters from the nearest rail. C. 10 meters from the nearest rail. D. 3 meters from the nearest rail. The answer is B. 5 meters from the nearest rail. Question 12. What steps should you take before leaving your car parked on a downhill slope? Turn your front wheels to the right and set your parking brake. B. Turn your front wheels to the left and set your parking brake. C. Leave your wheel parallel to the curb and set your parking brake. D. Set your parking brake only. The answer is A. Turn your front wheels to the right and set your parking brake.
Question 13. What are the potential effects or risks of consuming one glass of beer before driving? Never a problem. There is not that much alcohol in one glass of beer. B. Okay if you have a cup of coffee as well. C. Problematic for some people and can cause impairment. D. Okay if you have eaten a large meal. The answer is C. Problematic for some people and can cause impairment. Question 14. In what situations should cruise control not be used? On wet, slippery, snowy, or icy surfaces. B. Under ideal highway driving conditions. C. When you are tired. D. A and C. The answer is D. And C. Question 15. When are you required to use your headlights while driving? All the time. B. Between 10 minutes after sunset and 10 minutes before sunrise. C. Whenever you cannot see 150 meters ahead. D. B and C. The answer is D, B and C. Question 16. What are some effective ways to reduce vehicle emissions? Keep the engine running. B. Change the oil and air filter regularly. C. Run the air conditioning system. All of the above. The answer is B. Change the oil and air filter regularly. Question 17. How far must you park from a fire hydrant? 10 meters. B. 6 meters. C. 5 meters. D. 3 meters. The answer is C. 5 meters. Question 18. If you can't stop in time for a large animal in your path, what should you do? Break firmly. B. Try to strike the animal at an angle. C. Let up on the brakes just before hitting the animal to reduce the chance of it coming through your windshield. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question 19. 
What is the appropriate action to take if a vehicle in front of you is stopped at a crosswalk on a multi-lane road? Pass the vehicle on the right only. Pass the vehicle on the left only. C. Stop before passing this vehicle and make sure there are no pedestrians in the crosswalk. A honk to encourage the vehicle's driver to get going. The answer is C. Stop before passing this vehicle and make sure there are no pedestrians in the crosswalk. Question 20. What steps should you take if another driver is tailgating you? Slow down slightly to increase the space in front of your car, allowing you extra space to stop more gradually B. If you need to, move into another lane. C. Pull over to let the tailgate pass. D. Any of the above. The answer is D. Any of the above. Question 21. What actions should you take if you are faced with an unavoidable collision? Slow down as much as possible and steer for something that will cushion your car. B. Take your hands off the wheel and cover your head with your arms. C. Leap from the car if you can. D. Hit the brakes hard. The answer is A. Slow down as much as possible and steer for something that will cushion your car. Question 22. What should you do if you find yourself stranded in snow while inside your vehicle? Run the engine to keep the interior of the vehicle warm. B. Go and look for help. C. Run the engine only for about 5 minutes an hour to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. D. B and C. The answer is C. Run the engine only for about 5 minutes an hour to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Question 23. What actions should you take if you experience hydroplaning while driving? Slam on the brakes. B. Brake gently. C. Decelerate and drive straight ahead without hitting the brakes. D. Pull over, there may be something wrong with your car. The answer is C. Decelerate and drive straight ahead without hitting the brakes. Question 24. What should you do if you have a close call and nearly get into an accident? Think about how you can drive more safely so it doesn't happen again. B. Avoid that situation in the future. C. Not bother worrying about it. Remember that other drivers are usually to blame. Pat yourself on the back for not getting into the accident. The answer is A. 
Think about how you can drive more safely so it doesn't happen again. Question 25. What precautions should you take if you need to drive through a deep puddle? Drive through it as quickly as possible. B. Drive through it as slowly as possible. C. Gently apply the brakes after you get through the puddle to dry them out. D. B and C. The answer is D, B and C. Question 26. What is the proper procedure when passing a cyclist, especially if you need to move slightly into another lane? Doing something illegal, you must change lanes completely. B. Doing something unnecessary, there is plenty of room in one lane for a car to pass a cyclist. C. Actually changing lanes and should check your mirror, signal and shoulder check. D. A hazard to other drivers. The answer is C actually changing lanes and should check your mirror, signal and shoulder check. Question 27. How can you offer assistance if you witness a car crash? Making sure your vehicle is parked away from the crash. B. Calling for emergency services if necessary. C. Staying with injured people until help arrives. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question 28. What steps should you take if your brakes fail while driving? Keep driving until you run out of gas. B. Pull rapidly on the parking brake. C. Pump the brakes rapidly, shift into a lower gear, pull gently on the parking brake and use your horn to warn other drivers. Keep your hand on the horn so everyone gets out of the way. The answer is C. Pump the brakes rapidly, shift into a lower gear, Pull gently on the parking brake and use your horn to warn other drivers. Question 29. What should you do if your car breaks down on the freeway? Pull over to the far right and walk to the next exit. B. Put on your emergency flashers, pull over to the far right and walk to the next exit. C. Signal, pull off the road when safe, turn on your hazard lights, and stay with your vehicle. D. Stop wherever you are and go for help. The answer is C. Signal, pull off the road when safe, turn on your hazard lights, and stay with your vehicle.
Question 30. What should you do if your gas pedal sticks and you can't pull it up with your shoe? Slam on the brakes. B. Pull up your emergency brake. C. Apply the brakes, look for an escape path, put the car in neutral and follow your escape path. D. Keep driving until you run out of gas. The answer is C. Apply the brakes, look for an escape path, put the car in neutral and follow your escape path.